I'm Terry Williams, candidate for District 4 City Council for Greenville. I'd like to take a few moments to tell you about myself. I'm married to Tommy Williams. I have three children and two wonderful grandchildren. I'm a realtor with Aldridge and Sutherland, and I have past service on the Redevelopment Commission where I served for five years, two of those as the chair of the commission. I've lived practically my entire life in Greenville, growing up on Eastern Street and visiting this fountain on East Carolina's campus as a little girl with my sister, Rochelle. We even rode our bicycles through this campus on our way to piano lessons to visit Mrs. Sam White's house. My mother used to bring us here as little girls every Easter Sunday, all dressed up alike to take our photos. I have the grand opportunity of enjoying this fountain with my grandsons now. They come and enjoy the fountain and we take their pictures with the pirate. I am passionate about this community and keeping Greenville a place where people want to live, work, and raise their families. To do this, we must maintain a safe community and safe neighborhoods. I've had the opportunity to meet with our police chief, Chief Aiden, and discuss his plans and initiatives to help Greenville stay a safe community and reduce our crime. I'm confident when these plans are put into place with the help of, of our community and community policing, that Greenville will be a much safer and better place to live. One of my best experiences involving city government has been my tenure on the Redevelopment Commission. We're at Five Points Plaza, one of the projects completed while serving on the Redevelopment Commission. Five Points is a great example of a multi-use property right here in the heart of our center city. Used as a parking lot during the day, it can be transformed into a number of facilities depending on the demand. Some that you may be familiar with are our Umbrella Market, our National Night Out, and Free Boot Fridays. Another upcoming event will be our BMX Festival, which will be held on November 2nd. And I encourage everyone to come down and enjoy the facility and have your kids even here enjoying the Whisper Bench, which is an example of combining art with our renovations of this parking lot. During my time on the Redevelopment Commission, we had many other accomplishments in the 45 block revitalization area, including one I'm most proud of, which was the formation of the Small Business Plan Competition, where we helped to create over 19 businesses and over 100 new jobs. Other projects completed were Nathaniel Village, the Wayfinding Signage, the completion of our streetscape on Reed and Cochanch Circle, and also our West Greenville Gateway, which included our first commissioned public art. There are still initiatives to be completed in Center City and West Greenville and all over our city, things that we want to continue to help make Greenville the best place to live, work and raise our families. I believe that the experience that I've gained serving on the Redevelopment Commission makes me qualified to serve as your representative for District 4 City Council. There are four top issues facing Greenville. The first would be reducing crime, preserving our neighborhoods, our infrastructure needs, and continuing our initiatives for economic development. But I would like to talk about some issues facing District 4. Public safety is very important and of course includes reducing crime. But I also think that it encompasses a couple of other things that are affecting our district at this time. We have had these wonderful sidewalks installed in our district and throughout the city. But at certain intersections, we have a need for crosswalk signals. I would like for that issue to be discussed and perhaps see where the most needs are and have some crosswalk signals installed. Another issue facing us is the traffic safety between the intersection of Brook Valley on Highway 33 and the new Walmart. I have requested a study be made through the Department of Transportation to determine what our safety hazards are and if something may be done to reduce that speed limit or to install traffic signaling lights that tell the public that a traffic signal is ahead and perhaps that will help in slowing down the traffic. There has already been a corridor study implemented that will start in just a few weeks to take care of traffic issues we have from 10th Street where the new 10th Street connector will start down to this signal light at Brook Valley. So I believe that these issues are being talked about and I believe that the Department of Transportation will work with the city to try to remedy the issue that we have about the fast moving traffic between the Brook Valley intersection and the new Walmart. This is an important part of public safety 
and as well as um, working hard with our new chief to continue to reduce crime. I'm Terry's daughter, Taylor Williams, and I'm here on behalf of my entire family. My mom has a strong passion for Greenville. We have seen her gain experience from serving on the Redevelopment Commission. We have seen and heard all the plans that she has for Greenville's future. We know that she has a strong passion for what she's doing. We ask for your vote for my mom, Terry Williams, for City Council District 4, Greenville.